Perry Township Schools, where lifelong learning is inspired. Hi there! Today in this video, we'll be exploring the Opposing Viewpoints database. You'll need to start on the Perry Township Resource Portal. On the right-hand side, under Quick Links, you'll see iLibrary and Inspire. Go ahead and click it so it opens up a new tab. Whenever I work with students, I recommend that they always bookmark this website so that they have easy access to it. If you want to, you can go ahead and click the star up in the top by the search bar so it adds to your bookmarks. But for today, you have two options. You can either search for the databases through A to Z, or you can scroll down and look for it under your school. Right here, it's also opposing viewpoints and context is listed under High top picks for high school. But you can also search for different databases by going databases A to Z and scrolling down to opposing viewpoints right here. Opposing viewpoints and context will open up into a new tab through supported by Gale. You'll have this screen that asks for you to sign in, and you'll need to sign in with Inspire123. The password for this database is inspire123, all lowercase, all one word. Once you type this in, you can then hit sign in and you need to use this password whenever you access this database from home. Once you arrive to this Opposing Viewpoints homepage, you'll be greeted with a variety of different things. First and foremost is the issues of interest, and these are current issues that have opposing viewpoints. You can scroll through these to see what the most current topics are, as well as scroll down to see what some of the most updated issues are. Opposing viewpoints and context covers issues that have opposing viewpoints that are relevant to today's society. If you are doing research or want to look for a particular issue in this database, you'll want to go to Browse Issues on the right-hand side. This will give you a comprehensive list of all of the issues that are covered in this database. If you want to search for a particular issue, you could also just type it in into the search bar. Once you search for an issue, you'll be greeted with an overview. This is sort of an encyclopedic entry to give you a brief overview of the topic that you searched for. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are different viewpoints as well as resources related to your topic. This is all about different formats that you can look at if you are looking for a particular format to read. Future viewpoints is the most current and focus on aspect of this issue, but there are also things like videos, audio, and infographics that you could also take a look at. If you scroll down, each of those things is also organized in different sections. Under each result, it gives you the date that it was published, as well as the amount of words or length of the article or the result, the type of the result, so this is an article, whereas this could be an essay, and next to that is also the Lexile level. When you are searching, if you are doing an advanced search, you could search for a topic such as fast fashion. We use that again. But if you scroll down, you could also choose by Lexile measure as well as content type. So let's say I wanted an audio clipping. I also recommend that you choose full text documents to get the full comprehensive result. Otherwise, you might just get abstracts and it won't relate. Okay. Once you find a result that you think might work for your needs, you may go ahead and click it. Once you click the result, you'll see that the result headline, as well as the author, date, and the source, as well as the document type and the Lexile level again. This is where you can either go ahead and read the article or the result, but I also recommend that you save it to Google Drive. Once you save it to your Google Drive, you'll be prompted to log in and it will send a document to your Google Drive. When I work with students, I recommend that they do this so that they can save the result that they find in 
opposing viewpoints, and then they can mark it up in Google Docs on their drive. This way they can take notes, they can annotate, and they can create a comprehensive argument. Databases can be intimidating, so if you have any questions about how to use opposing viewpoints, please contact one of your secondary library media specialists. This resource was brought to you by the school librarians of Perry Township Schools.